Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Risk of Rain 2. Buckle up guys, gals, and non-binary pals, you're in for a ride. In the Monsoon Challenge, I've been working my way through each survivor. No artifacts, no mods, just Monsoon, and before you get up in arms, yes, I'm aware of Eclipse, but that's for another day. In this video, however, is our favorite purple dinosaur. Boys and pupper... thing. Bruh. While the other survivors are more classes than characters, Accurate is the only survivor to make a reprisal as the exact character from Risk of Rain 1. The commando survivor, for instance, is just one of any number of commandos in the U.S. military forces, as is evidenced in the escape ship sequence on commencement. So this is actually the first time I'm going to touch on lore in one of these videos. The U.S. Contact Light was a freighter carrying various crates of cargo from its travels. Its containers housed all manner of objects, from mere shipping parcels, gifts, flora and fauna, science experiments, and even murder evidence, to a janitorial robot and full-blown mil-spec weaponry that was intended to be top secret to all but the highest security clearance. Oh, hey, Cody Wall Streamer. Oh, no. Paul, wh what are you doing? Uh, nothing. Just trying out my new lockpick. That's a fistful of coins, and you're just throwing them. <laughs> yeah, crazy, right? I found this old log that taught me how to do it. Check it out. That's... Not how that's supposed to work. I think somebody in security missed the memo. That's for me to go shopping. What? Give me that. Don't trust the UESC one bit. Security chest override back door. It's kind of, you just pay money and it springs open on the spot. Oh, for the love of... So amidst all these storage containers was one particular alien relic designed and constructed by none other than Mithrix and Providence themselves. If you thought the chest security was bad, just wait until you- and it's exploding. A number of survivors crash landed on Petrichor 5 in the snowy wasteland that would become known as Rally Point Delta. There, they set up camp with communications arrays and what remaining storage crates they could salvage. But with the contact light stuffed harder than an urban cheese quivering in terror at the sandwich artist on the first day of $5 footlong, surely they wouldn't carry anything morally dubious like living- because of course it does. So, the survivor of Risk of Rain fulfills his lifelong dream of having his very own Yoshi and frees Acrid from his prison in the sunken tomb. Acrid, heart full of gratitude and jubilation at its newfound freedom, turns to the survivor with thanks in its eyes and... With Risk of Rain having only two conditions to end a run, death or defeating Providence, and Acrid being the only survivor to persist between Risk of Rain 1 and 2, we can deduce that Acrid was the only survivor to canonically defeat Providence, while all the others, uh, <coughs> didn't. And so it left with a new hunger to be left alone. That means it's safe to assume that none other than our four-legged friend here is actually the main character of Risk of Rain. But that's just a theory, a game th oh, Seriously, Matt, Matt, please do a theory on Risk of Rain, like seriously, please. Flash forward and we find ourselves aboard the UES Safe Travels, a ship not fit for rescue, but lined up for the job anyway, and bringing a war veteran out of retirement for a mission classified top secret. Top secret? Hey, you think we should tell him about the lockpick? Paul, we discussed this. That's not a lockpick. Best lockpick ever! <laughs> <sighs> so the Safe Travels rescue team lands on Petricor 5 where they find more gates. Uh, but don't worry, these ones are totally and completely safe now that Providence is dead. Definitely not a trans-dimensional door that's bridged Petricor to the never-ending abyss that is the void. <laughs> with a sudden stroke of serendipity, or an unhealthy obsession with crystal statues of amphibians, the rescue team stumbles upon the bazaar between time, a dimension narrowly adjacent to ours where we not only travel through space, but time itself. And because anybody who's ever played a Mario game wonders what happens to Yoshi after you spring off their back like a Mesozoic trampoline, they get dissolved into genetic atom goo and baked into a crystal by crustaceans on the other side of a null portal. Boom! Sometime between the events of Risk of Rain and Risk of Rain 2, Acrid is captured by the boy jailers and Captain Loss is safekeeping until Commando comes in yet again to save the day. You know, maybe Acrid is more the princess of Risk of Rain. Sorry, Commando, but your Acrid is in another cell vent. Charge all nine cell vents, and Acrid is released upon the planet once more. I'm free! Acrid reprises its role as everyone's favorite hybrid melee and ranged poison pupper. Although it's not clear if this was due to the exposure to the void, or if it's just Hopu's excuse to give the character alternate skills, you can now choose between poison or blight, in contrast to being limited to just poison in Risk of Rain 1. 
While Poison calculates damage against a percentage of the target's health, Blight calculates damage more traditionally, against accurate space damage. Both apply debuffs that increase in potency with each stack. Poison stacks more like Bleed, where the duration of the debuff is prolonged, but Blight stacks more like Collapse, where the amount of damage is increased and the duration remains static. The primary attack, Vicious Wounds, is a pretty standard 3-hit melee combo with a regenerative healing buff on the third swing. Interestingly, the healing buff does not require you to land all three hits for the heal. You can simply whip the first two swings and land the third swing on an enemy for the healing effect. For Acrid Secondary, you have the choice between Neurotoxin for range or Ravenous Bite for a more traditional melee style. Both deal poison debuffs, but to make up for the lack of range, Ravenous Bite gets more powerful for each percent of the enemy health that is missing and doubles as a healing skill. Next, you have the Utility skill. Caustic Leap combines great mobility with soft crowd control and sustained debuffs. Frenzied Leap, however, drops the poison in favor of Yoshi Smash! And last, Acrid Special Epidemic, which is a simple range skill that would have people reaching for the hand sanitizer faster than a dry cough in an old folks home, spreading the poison to up to 20 enemies nearby that have not yet been affected. Regardless of what skills you pick, Acrid is a character that thrives by jumping into the fray, putting itself on the front line of damage. The goal is to get as much damage as possible and soak as much damage as possible, mitigating the health loss with Vicious Wounds or Ravenous Bite, perfect for lovers of rushdown tactics and aggressive playstyles. So hey, no matter who your favorite character may be, if you found this video entertaining, please let that subscribe button. Only 7.5% of my watch time came from subscribers this year, so <laughs> what's up with that? This video alone took over 30 hours worth of work to record, edit, compile, and render, so while you're at it, leave a like on the video, or give me feedback on what I could have done better in the comments. I honestly love to chat with folks from the Risk of Rain community, and I'm looking to improve any way I can. And remember, you can find these recordings live every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 6 p.m. Eastern Time over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash coyotewildfire. Now let's jump into the Monsoon Challenge with good friend Akrit. Oh. Okay. That, I mean that's a, that that was a little bit different. <laughs> I mean, hey, all right. I guess it makes sense. He's not going to come down on some sort of escape pod, is he? Wait, he's got two shifts. He's got two shifts. Okay. All right. Claws. Oh, okay. Spit. What's this? Another spit. That looks like it's going to do some damage here. Like if I if I land, does it? Yes. Oh, okay. Bonk! <laughs> Yo, Godzilla ain't got nothing on this. Whee! Bonk! Oh, that's juicy. That is juicy. No, literally, there's just like juice all over the place. Oh, yes. Oh, it's juicy. It's juicy! Oh, we like them boofers thick and juicy, baby. Woohoo! <laughs> Man, you can get some air with that. Oh, I like Akron. There we go. That's going to help me out with making sure that I've got like a finishing shot that also does poison. That is so neat. How did I not like Akron before? There we go. I'm gonna die! Oh! This planet killed you. Thank you, Beetle Queen. I think that's the first time I've ever had my face sat on by a Beetle Queen. Wee! Boop! That's right, I booped you, Snoop! Yeah, I guess, I guess I might as well just fight the boss then, because... I'm gonna need it to get the, uh, the items. I'm not gonna have no gold! Donk, donk. Oh, really? Why are you all the way up there? Queenie! We gotta have a conversation. Girl! Girl! Bruh. Ah, girl! No! No, no, no! I don't like it! I don't like it! Oh! Woohoo! That's solid, okay. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Rip! 
This girl is. Look at no. that. You are. No, cool. that's you. I'm not a pretty girl. Thank you, Bubba. You're welcome. Ooh, band. We got a band. <gasps> Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bye. 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 <laughs> Wow. Wow. The infection spreads like crazy. All right. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> Choose a new character. The game's just like, yo, bro, you suck. <laughs> That's three deaths. Three deaths, and it's not even been half an hour. No. If this is uh, an indication of how difficult it's going to be for me with melee characters, boy, mercenary is going to be a treat. Oh, hell yes. Ukulele. I prefer the ukulele to the mikulele. Oh, sentient meat hook. That is big, big boy proc chain right there. That could be like a saving grace. Attack speed acrid. That's working out quite nice. I yeah, I like attack rid. I like attack rid. Yeah. All right, none bands for acrid. Who needs bands? Got attack speed. I would prefer to live to die another day. All right. Oh come on, really? <gasps> no. The Vagrant is wandering, I'm told. Whee! Whoa! I made it out with one HP! Whee! Uh, that is like surviving a fatal car crash, but then not surviving a small fender bender on the way home from the hospital. We're going to pull a victory out of our booty. Yep, sure did. I've got three of them lazing my ass right now. Go away. Go away. Oh, uh, what? This, this might be the hardest, hardest time. I have had with any risk of rain character yet. Uh oh. Whee! <laughs> you really messed up. Oh, buddy. Yeah, this is the end of it. Oh, yep. I am playing accurate very, very wrong tonight, I think. Pretty bad, pretty bad. Oh, why? Oh, well, that soils the run. That's a pluripotent larva. That is no, 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 no. Get out! No, no, the extra life. I thought my, I thought my artificer run was cursed. Woo! Oh, nuts! Well, there it is. Oh, man. <laughs> Monsoon with no artifacts. That's why I tuned in at first. Oh, hell yes. Oh, that's dope.
I watch a lot of Eclipse 8 streamers. I got you. So I... Ooh. So I don't do uh, any Eclipse at the moment because I I just haven't gotten there yet. I, I'll, I'll be completely transparent. I am not good enough of the game to be able to do that yet. Now, that's not to say that I won't. But I'm I'm just not there yet with these characters, and I want to get I want to get full clears with each character to better understand the game from a broader perspective, you know. Oh, poly loot! Hello, that oh look at that! That means cooldown for my equipment as well. Nice, nice. Oh, so good. All right, this this run is actually off to a good start. Oh, read you, Rack. Oh, oh, yes, please. Now, if only I could get an Aegis, if I could get an Aegis and maybe like a, um, a Wungus, a Wungus would be tight. disciple in a minute I, I i'm a fan of this let's go so a lot of it is running in jumping in there dumping as much left click and everything else as possible it seems and then just ducking out Did, was that, that had to have been the Lost Seer's lenses proccing? More Seer's lenses, okay. Another poly loot. Wow, whoa, wow. All right, so shipping request form will at least give me some. Why are you soaking me? Why is my own dude soaking me? What the hell? Bro, bro, I'm on your side. Don't do that. What is this? What? What is this? I have never seen that before. Hello. Gnarled wood spray. Okay. You know what we gonna do tonight. You know what we doing. Good soup. Good soup. Yeah, easy boss. That's this boss gonna be easy clap. Okay. A planula. I guess I'm getting a planula. Which is great because flat healing anytime that I take damage. How can you go wrong with that, right? All right, all right. I want my believers. I want my believers here. Coyote Wild Streamer, I believe. Coyote Wild Streamer, I believe. I want to hear in the chat. See, that's the problem. Um, when I change out my my equipment item, I have I have some sort of weird, weird mental block going on there, where I forget to change it back before the end, and now I just I can still ahoy. And the Ahoy, because of <laughs> because of the bottle of chaos, I'll get I'll get an effect out of it. I just wish that I could have used the blast showers effect as well. Specifically when the lunar chimeras come in and I get um uh I get slowed by them because their attacks are it's ridiculous. I hate the little like pepper spray attack that they have. Ahoy! You know what? I'm gonna take it actually. That's convenient. How you doing? Goodbye. <laughs> Let's go. I, I don't know. Should I should I gamble on this and just see if it like gives me <laughs> gives me an eccentric face? It gave me an eccentric face. What? What even is it? It's a warhorn over there. 
I can't even believe that. <laughs> Here we go. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Come on, I want to see it in chat. I believe, Coyote Wild Streamer. I believe. I'm going to ahoy him to death. Oh, he's going after my Gubo. He's going after my Gubo. I lend you my power. That's, yes, I am going to scan Mithrix to death. Yeah! Stage one down, let's go! Oh, Luna Camaras are coming for you! <laughs> I'm gonna bite your legs off. Oh, yes! Oh, it's juicy! Oh, you scared now! You scared now! <laughs> oh, I'm scared now! I'm scared! I'm scared! <laughs> All right, stage two down. Stage two is down. Oh, not good. I flubbed that one. Oh, let's not get too cocky. Let's not let's not throw this away. Oh, I want it. I want it. I want it. I do. I want you, big daddy hammer boy. I want those cheeks. I'm gonna clap them cheeks. All right, all right, he's, he's jumping. He's down, stage three down, okay. Oh, good, 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 good. Oh my God, are you kidding? Ooh, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't want to sit in that. Oh, here we go, big buddy. <gasps> Boom! Oh, he's down. He is down. Woo my believers, my believers. You done believed you did it. You did it. Holy smokes. I did not, I did not expect that. Oh, that was good. Oh, I'm feeling pumped about this. Woo! Let's get it, BBs. Let's get it. That's right. This is what happens when we get the believers in the chat. That's what happens. When my believers believe, there ain't nothing. Nothing to stop us. Easy clap, baby. You got it. You got it. Easy clap. Uh, Coyote Wild Streamer, don't you mean easy applause? No, easy clap. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, hey. Maybe maybe I don't want to be right next to that right as he's about to go off. All right, there's the chain reaction. Boop! Oh, it's juicy. It's juicy. Come on, we're 90%. We're 90%. We can do this. We can do this. Yes! Let's go! Yo, my goodness, we got it! We got it!